So, you want to amaze your friends or people around? I mean, completely blow their minds. Make them say, what the hell? And know that 98% of them are not going to be able to do anything so simple and complicated at the same time. Ever. Personally, I often use this trick whenever I want to impress the person in front of me. It adds a tiny cool look in detail to impression I want to make on people. Yeah, and also it is something to busy out your fingers and yourself when you're bored. Just passing time with pleasure and with use mastering some tricks with simple pen wherever you are, whenever you want. Okay, 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 no more extra words. It is going to be a long journey to ruling the world. And first of all, that's how the trick looks. Let's say you need to sign some document or write a telephone number on some girl's card. You take your pen. Oh, 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 that's a wrong side. What am I gonna do? I can't write holding the pen like this. People around just ooing and aim, grab their heads. Someone even falls into a faint. Raise your hands, calming everyone down and do this. Looks pretty simple, doesn't it? I'm just kidding. That looks crazy difficult, but awesome, awesome. The most of awesome things are difficult. Otherwise, everybody would could do them and they wouldn't be so awesome anymore, right? Nevertheless, it is more than achievable skill and it can be learned pretty quick. Let me show you how. Look closely and try to repeat. First of all, take your pen by its cap side between thumb and index finger close to its end. So the bigger part with writing ink would look up, like this. Hold your fingers firmly, but don't tense them. Wrist turned palm side. The rest of your fingers are also relaxed. Middle is up a bit and ring with pinky are a bit down. You will need some space for pen to go and land on your ring finger later. So you may straighten middle and bend ring and pinky a little. The main thing is ring should be under your pen. Now, make a sharp movement with your hand forward and back, at the same time loosening a hold of your fingers. Tricky thing here is to adjust grip of your index and thumb, so pen could move freely between them and at the same time wouldn't fall on the table. When pen goes down, it should land on your ring finger, and when it will, put your middle above it. So, now the pen is between ring and middle fingers. Ok, turn your hand palm down and get ready. That's the point where most of you guys are going to rage quit and leave more fresh air for the rest 2%. Guys of purpose. And you guys, you need to do this movement. When your pen landed on ring finger and was placed between middle and ring fingers, Position looks like this. Ring finger is down under the pen, middle is up, above it. Pen is offered to fingers with writing ink looking aside, away from you. You hold the pen pretty much close to its center. You need to do a sharp movement with three of your fingers. Ring should go up, like throwing your pen up, out of your hand. At the same time, middle should push the pen down. So they switch places together and, as you may see, pen flies away from you to another dimension. You need to adjust force needed to do this movement. If you practice for a while, you could even make your pen spin on your middle like this. It would be very helpful, but will be so hard to perform confidently. I will show you a more simple way to continue this trick. So, when you throw pen away while letting your ring go up and your middle down, you will also need to raise your index and connect it with your ring finger like this. It would lock up your pen. Throw your pen over your middle, so it would land in slot between index and middle fingers. Try to do this for a while and if you feel that nothing works and you really can't do it, I have a separate video dedicated to this trick only. Go and watch the video about tricks Sonic in pen spinning, link in description under this video on YouTube. Anyway, it is going to take you one hour to master, minimum. One hour if you are a genius in pen spinning, if you are a hidden genius. So get yourself some patience. 
Look, at this point you hold the pen between index and middle fingers at its center, with ink looking away from you. Index is above your pen, middle is placed under, palm down, just like this. Now, turn your wrist palm side and as you do it, bend fingers a little closer to thumb and also move thumb closer to the rest of them under the pen. You can practice this movement for some time, starting with the part when you hold the pen between middle and ring fingers and to the part when you turn your hand palm side. Ok, as you can see, now the pen is pretty close to writing position. Probably we can try to write something with it. No, no, that doesn't work. That just dumb, Alex, what the hell? I've been going through so much pain and now I can't even write properly. Don't worry, pal. Here goes the fix. So, you hold the pen this way with middle finger under it. Make sure to place thumb closer to cap of the pen. Now you need to switch places of your index and middle. Index goes up and middle grabs your pen and you are left in such a position. Now all you need to do is shift thumb even closer to the cap, almost to the end of the pen. Push pen with your middle finger at its center just as if you were pressing the trigger and at the same time push it with your thumb a little. You need to turn the pen over your thumb. Without a pen this movement of your fingers should look somewhat like this. Again, the tricky thing is to adjust force of your pressing, so it would be enough for the pen to go around the thumb, but not too much, so it would stay within your hand. If you got stuck at this point, go and check out the video tutorial of thumb round trick and pen spinning on my channel, Pen Stock. Link in description under this video on YouTube. Yes, I have a separate video for each of the tricks from today's video tutorial and much, much more. Consider subscribing. And as you see, now we are good to write. Pen is in writing position, audience applauses, somebody here and there whistles and cries bravo. Everything is just like all we wanted it to be. Again, you should remember that the percentage of people who would manage to go so far with this trick is extremely small. So, even when you share this video, they would go like, what the f More than 98% of people will never be able to do it, will never be able to get pleasure out of this process, take part in competitions, games. Not because it is very hard, no, it is just for a certain amount of people. A very small amount, actually. So we are the chosen ones, magicians. Just shy of four or five hundred years ago, they would want to put us on fire. Thanks God we live in such an enlightened age, when people can spend time playing Fortnite or whatever they play today and learn tricks with pens. By the way, it has cool mental bonuses and develops your fine motor skills. In contrast to Fortnite. And if you watch this video till this point, wow, that's a nice approach. Write down Peripad Vipiriver in the comment section below this video on YouTube so we would know how many of you guys are patient and consistent. We, I mean the whole community of us. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn much, much more than that. You know, that's just the ground, basic level of pen spinning. Also, if you're pissed off, because you can't really accomplish this trick, I suppose you might be, but you really want to, go and get a special tool on penstock.net. You know, I've showed this, how to do this trick with a simple pen, but frankly speaking, it is not so simple as it could be with a specially made tool. A pen mod with a nice length, nice weight, nice balance. Something handsome like this. Don't forget to push the bell button after you subscribe to Penstock. If you are watching it right now, you should definitely do it. That's the best channel about pen spinning without any doubts. I'm Alex Sukhov. May this tell be with you guys. Bye.